Okay, you're out of the vault. Now, go forth into the world and make something of yourself. I did it? Yes! Oh, ew. Never mind, it's gross out here. How do I go back in? No, it's a nuclear wasteland. You know the game is called Fallout, right? Mm -hmm. Also, you can't go back. The Overseer's gonna kill you. We have to flee. Right. So, flee anywhere I want? Anywhere! The world is your radioactive oyster. Right. Well, not that way, obviously, jackass. Sorry, that was uncalled for. Just go to Megaton. It's down that road. Oh, hey, a life form. And it's a lady. Hell, fellow traveler. No! No, 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 get up! Get up, come on, you're okay, you're okay! Should have upped your charisma. Oh, hey, check her pockets for bottle caps. Oh, God, this is so bad, we gotta get rid of her! You have to help me, how do I bury stuff? You don't have to be... This is the apocalypse, man, the rules have changed. Nobody's gonna come looking for what her. What if she is a mom? Was, damn. I'm gonna have to get used to saying that when I talk about her. You need to relax, okay? As long as you're not in a town, you can kill whoever you want, wherever you want. Okay? Even if it's the middle of the day. The only thing that gets affected is your own karma. See? It's in the corner. Oh, look at that. I have karma. What happens if I run out? I lose? Adorable. No! You just become a bad person, you know? The game changes, you start slave trading and what have you. That's what's great about it. You get to choose who you want to be, like in real life. Good guy. Obviously. Minus this little bit of ugliness. What's the button to declare I am choosing the path of light? Well, there isn't one button for it, but being good is a great choice your first time through the game. Now, you're gonna go through the dead lady's house and see if she has any valuables worth taking. Uh, again, bottle caps or... Uh... Light! Path of light. Maybe you weren't listening to me. I'm not stealing from this poor single mom who is... was just trying to scrape by in this crazy new world. Unless it's to find her nest of babies and make them my own. You know, can I do that? Can I make the rest of the game that? No, and it won't hurt your karma to steal from her. At least grab her jacket, it might be worth something. Hold on, how is stealing totally cool in the karma structure of this game? Some stealing, lighten up. God, anyway, she's a drug addict. Sorry, spoiler. Killing's okay too, as long as they're ne'er-do-wells. In fact, later in the game, you can boost your karma by cutting fingers off and selling and them. And I'm still the good guy? That's horrible. What can I do? Mostly eat corpses. That's bad. So is uh, giving radioactive water to beggars. That's worse, you're right, but how does anyone born into this world know what's right or wrong? You know, we're just supposed to guess? Is this being decided at random, or is there someone out there who's got the moral compass role following? We're still talking about the game, right? Well, we'll start with the game and then, you know, we'll see, but who says specifically you can't eat corpses, but you can sell fingers? Okay, well, purely for the sake of argument, I guess that the morality system is put there by the game designers. I mean, there are a ton of games with karma in them. Knights of the Old Republic, Fable, Red Dead Redemption, others. Oh, uh, you're gonna wanna kill those guys coming your way. Why? They're looters. I'm a looter. Well, it's different, sort of. The game already decided they're bad. It just decides for them? Will you just kill them, please? They're coming up. Fine, hail fellow travelers. Is it at least the same morality system from game to game? No, fluctuates pretty wildly. And how does anyone know what the rules are? Trial and error. You're probably in the manual, too. Hold on. So some creator makes arbitrary rules that everyone has to live by, and the only way to know the rules is to read the book? Okay, I see what you're trying to do, and it's not like that. It's just a game mechanic. It's supposed to be fun. You know, you're gonna want to pay attention to what some of these people are telling you. It's important information. Why? Who cares? The overseer? No, if you were following the... He's still back in the vault, remember? No, I mean the big overseer. Yeah, I'm out of the vault, but come on, man. Am I ever really out of the vault? I left because I didn't want to live by his self-serving rules, and for what? Now I still have to live by the self-serving rules of the game designer. That is a nuclear bomb you're arming, by the way. How did you even know to do that? So what? You know, maybe the city deserves to be blown up. Maybe something cataclysmic is exactly what these sheeple need to wake the hell up to what's happening here. He shouted into the irradiated wind of a nuclear blast? Fuck it, whatever it takes. I don't care how many people I have to murder to open their goddamn eyes. Don't you see how fucked up this is? This game, each game, has its own made-up morality system. And if you don't adhere, you're evil? You know where else that happens? Skyrim! Sorry, I knew I forgot one. Cults. It happens in cults. Each one of your karma games is basically a little pocket religion with its own selfish ideas of what matters. 
Well, fuck that. I'd rather blow up everyone than force this cowboy and all these other people to live under the shadow of a grand designer who doesn't even care about them. I'm not killing them. I'm setting them free from the vault of their wasted lives. Wow! That was dark! I didn't even know you could do that without someone hiring you. These, these are uncharted waters, man. I mean, I don't think I've ever been that evil in the game. In fact, maybe we should play something. Just get me to the next town. And find me another bomb. I don't know if I'm really comfortable. Find me another bomb. Yes, sir. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and please subscribe for more videos. And it would have been about Fallout 4, but we haven't played it yet. We're sorry, but we're also excited about that one. And I want to know in the comments which Boston landmarks you're most excited about potentially nuking, I assume. Killing a lot of people. I assume you'll still be able to nuke all the landmarks, right? Yeah. That's the main thing. Individually. Yeah. Just nuke Fenway Park. Yeah. Tiny, I'm, very tiny nuke. I'm going to avenge my failure to get into Harvard on Harvard. Very excited for that. Nice.